Good morning, everyone who's joining in for this Lymphedema Day in Argentina. My name is David Blow, and I'd like to take you through some of the principal steps in applying neuromuscular taping for improving lymphatic system activation and functioning. Correct application of neuromuscular taping for improving lymphatic drainage is based upon five principles. The first being understanding of the lymphatic anatomy. The second being the lines of major skin elasticity over that anatomy objective. The third is applying the tape with zero tension. The fourth is the width of the tape. And the last one is the distance between each one of the strips of plot. In this video presentation, I'll be going through with you step by step on how to apply the tape correctly to the lower limb from, uh, that was just me, sorry about that, uh, just giving some comments because uh, in Italy we're in a semi-lockdown situation and so we are have to use the mask when we are with patients and so in this short video I'll be showing you step by step the application uh, correct application for applying neuromuscular taping in decompression over the lower extremity so we are going to be focusing on the lymphatic drainage from the ankle internal external uh, through the calf up until the popliteal fossa to encourage the drainage, lymphatic drainage of this area. So the first step is to decide the correct length of the tape. So the length of the tape is calculated 10 centimeters above the popliteal fossa and the length is taken down 2 centimeters below the heel. So in this in this area, the skin elasticity is in a longitudinal direction. So consequently, the tape will be applied longitudinal. The tape is going to be cut into a fan cut, as you see here, with only two centimeters as a base. And each one of the five strips is one centimeter wide, which is a basic width of the tape uh, for lymphatic purposes. So the different widths of the tape obviously have different therapeutic objectives. So the wider the tape, the deeper the action and the more functional um, action it will have over the muscle and joint areas. Whereas the tape can be cut into one centimeter wide, which is a basic lymphatic objective because one centimeter wide tape is going to be working at one centimeter depth. So we're talking about superficial lymphatic drainage in this case. The tape can also be cut at five millimeters uh, or six millimeters, which has a vascular objective at a capillary level whereas the tape can also be cut uh, between three, four or five millimeters, which means we're going to have an even more superficial effect on the uh, um, sensorial and uh, tactile uh, action, which means it's going to be uh, acting over the uh, neurological pathways and nerve endings. So as you see here, I'm applying the tape over the skin posterior to the lower limb and we have to uh, put the skin into a stretch position so consequently the foot is into a dorsal flex position the knee is obviously extended and the tape is being applied zero tension which means the tape is not stretched in any way as you see also the distance between each one of the tapes is between one and two centimeters which means uh, we are covering between 30 and 50 percent of the surface area which is also one of the main principles behind narrow muscular taping to have the uh, best therapeutic effect the more area you cover the more compression the tape is going to create so between 30 and 50 percent again uh, is our ideal 
uh, surface area that is being covered. So as you see here, as we are flexing the knee and putting the foot into plantar flexion, you see how the tape is wrinkling. So we are talking about an elastic decompression taping um, just following on from what I was saying, we are using an elastic decompression taping methodology here. So, as you see, the tape base is applied even more proximal to the lymphatic stations, and so the tape is covering the surface area of our objective where, where we have the lymphatic congestion. So you see during the flexion and extension, which is just normal movements of the body, uh, the tape is creating this dynamic of modification of the local pressure. So as we know, lymph correct lymphatic functioning is based upon body movements, normalizing body movements through neuromuscular taping and creating that pressure differential is going to facilitate the movement of the um, edema which is congested in this case in the lower extremity. Finally, neuromuscular taping for lymphatic purposes can be activated in two ways. One passively, which means the therapist who is going to activate the tape manually and secondly dynamically uh, through the patient's uh, normal mobility, for example walking, sitting and etc. So thank you for your attention. So keep uh, safe and healthy. All the best. David Blue.